We are four minutes late. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. <laughs> he says, finally. <laughs> We've been busy. We had canvases to prep and pan, moving things out of the way so that we have room to Maneuver. take white, wet paintings to the rack. And yes, the porage is a mess. We um, have one half of a ceiling left to paint, and then we can put it all back together. Don't ever get worried. We will be here. <laughs> Late, but we will be here. Disco ball. Wacky screen again. Um, pull that flower painting out. Well, you might as well show them last week's pores, Alan, while we are right there. Tilt towards you, please. There you go. There's the string pull from last week. I should say yarn pull. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. And let's Glad see. you could come join us tonight. This one here is... That was a dirty four. I like the way it dried. The dirty fours can only be done at night. Is that right? That's right. This was my first one. Looks oceany. Oh, Ellie, you're in trouble. He saw the video. <laughs> At one o'clock this morning. <laughs> This was, was this your first one? That was the first one, yes. And that was one that was dripping off on the drying rack. So it kind of lost a little bit of shape, but it looks okay. We don't have any problems buffering here. Um, I know there's issues in Texas tonight because AT&T got struck by lightning. This is one of the gadgets that I happened to use a strainer pull or a strainer pour last week. I actually love that painting. All right, so I spent the last three days working my fanny off to get stuff in Etsy. So Friday I photographed, Saturday I edited, and Sunday and today I've been uploading paintings into Etsy. So if you get a chance, just go check it out. Um, let me know what you think. They are, a lot of them are resin coated and I do have quite a few that are just um, varnish. But everything's in there um, that I had that group of paintings done. Believe me, I have about 40 more that I have to finish, but most of them are in there. I wanted to make sure I had stuff in there for Christmas and I'm going to work on tiles next. So I guess we should get started. Why don't you go first? Oh, why don't you go first? No, you go first. No, you, ah. you go first. So I had a request. Um, for a 12 by 12, which I'm going to work on first. Kelly, I want my hands back too. <laughs> if you guys have not checked out any of Allie's videos, go check out her latest Nate um, hat challenge video. It was hilarious. 
I need my apron. Gosh, I miss like now with it today. So much on my mind. Okay, so I had a request for um, a canvas that was 12 by 12 with teal, mint, white, and silver. And I'm going to use a um, white background because I want to put a little bit of black in the pour cup. And this is for a pour. So if anybody has questions, please put them in caps so that we can see them. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button while you're here. What would you say the porage is about 75% done? Uh, I'd say 80. It's just waiting for you to finish painting because everything else has been pretty much sorted out. So just sliding things back into place. As everybody knows, I take my time at painting. Oh my God, does he ever? <laughs> It took him two days to do a ceiling. <laughs> and it's not done. And it's not done. No. It's tough. You Don't go there. <laughs> These are what? 12 foot ceilings? They are 12 foot ceilings. But I also bought you a paint stick that you could have loaded with paint and just kept rolling. But you refused to use that. So suffer. <laughs> Actually, the one suffering is me. And then we had the storm on Thursday. Good old Michael decided to come and pay us a visit and hit the neighbor's tree, which came down about six feet away from Alan's new shed. So thank God for that. That, that didn't get crunched because we yeah. haven't even made the first payment on it yet. Deb A wants to know, is there any silicone in the white no. that you're using, the base paint? Nope. The base paint is one cup of paint, two cups of Floetrol, and two-thirds cup water, or more if you need it. Just depends on the... Uh, Brand of paint, and um, that's... The kind of texture and, and flow you're looking for. Right, but you want this to be runny, like melted ice cream. Hi, Steph. Okay. So I'm going to grab some teal. I'm going to go with a little bit of metallic on that. And I'll also use some Dollar Rani Phalo Turquoise with that. That'll give us more teal. Very nice. Says it's so nice to have a husband that likes to do what you like to do. Well, he doesn't like to do everything I like to do. And shopping is one of them. <laughs> right? I'm just the chauffeur. You're the chauffeur, yes. You're the chauffeur and the purse holder and the cart pusher and, yeah. We have ways of making you shop. <laughs> Okay, Maria says she's confused with all of the paint choices out there, heavy body, etc. Still not sure what to choose. I think that's a question. Well, it all depends how much um, breakdown you want to deal with. Craft paint is kind of a one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. It's like if you're, if you're using glue, if you're using my recipe, it's, you know, one paint, one glue, one flow trial. Um, when you go into a better paint, a tube paint, you're doing two parts of flow trial. So it all depends what you're what you want to spend, I guess, is another thing, and what kind of results you want. Okay. Uh, I saw a comment there I thought was kind of humorous. Mel Mel I says so nice not to have a husband sometimes too. <laughs> There's a lot of times I kick him out of here, don't I, Alan? Paula's mad now because she wants ice cream. <laughs> Uh, Brenda's got a question. How do you clean tiles if you don't use silicone? Just um, wipe them off with a little. I always do an alcohol wipe because I want to make sure that the oils from my hands are not on the tiles. And that's if you're going to be resining. If you're just going to be um, spraying them, I would just mist them off with a, with a little bit of water and wipe them down. 
I sprayed my cup with the WD-40 silicone spray for all you newbies out there. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white. Ellie said she laughed so hard at Alan sneaking in a video. Yeah, that was not too funny. <laughs> that was funny. Be very, very quiet. After I watched the video, I was cracking up. I start calling him Elmer. I am not Elma Foot. You're not? Ellie's, Ellie's is pretty funny, too. I have to admit. Yeah, Ellie's was fairly funny. I was out here laughing last night. Alan was working, and I'm like, you've got to come and watch Ellie's video. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Maria, we thought it was very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, Tracy's got a question. How do you clean used canvases to use again? I just do the regular um, cleaning process. Um, cleaning them off of the baby powder if you use silicone, and then misting them with water, and then wiping them down with alcohol. Or um, I've had a couple of people tell me they soak them in a bathtub or a tub of water in warm water and then they peel the paint off. So I'm not sure if the paint will peel. I guess it all depends what kind of paint you're using as well. Um, I, I just see a mess. That's all I see. <laughs> it's just easier to clean it and pour over it. Okay. Okay. For those of you that have joined us and we haven't said hello. Sorry about not naming all the names, but we got 127 people. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and run this on here. Uh, Sharon Lee is joining us. She says she's a new paint addict. And Joshua's got a question. Are you flipping over cups with silicone paint? No, these are dirty pores. But there is silicone in, in the, the paint. In the paint All my process. paint has silicone in it. With the exception of the base paints. Right. And if it doesn't have it, I would tell you. Maria is letting everybody know there's a deal at Michael's running level two and three canvas. They buy one, get two free. Yep, that's 60% off. This one is a request, correct? Yes. My computer is just running, isn't it? Yeah. Seamus says, oh my, who is Michael? Michael's. Michael's Craft Stores. Okay, so I'm going to give this a torch. Uh, Tracy Smith wants to know, what's the difference between level one and level two canvases? Level one is more your student grade uh, for someone who's just starting out. Level two is a double frame. That is, um, there's a rubber gasket between, so it's stretched tighter without staples. And level three is a deeper canvas, but it's the same. It's stretched, not stapled. It's stapled down inside instead of on the back. Uh, Kara wants to know, Kara pulled that question, could you do dirty pours, then pour just white over the dirty pour, and then draw in a painting or swipe in a painting. Yes, you can. So I have some stuff that's coming up here that will probably continue to rise. 
And Jen Maxwell wants to know, how do you keep them shiny looking after they dry? I varnish them or resin them. If you're new and you haven't watched my tutorials, check those out after the show. And um, everything's there from supplies to finishing. And I even have a shipping video in there now, so it shows you how to ship your paintings. I got a couple more questions. Um, hola to Adrian from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, Brenda's asking, she's new at pouring in resin, and she's not got a good resin yet. Everything is pitted even after I cleaned it. She doesn't know what she's doing wrong. Um, maybe not mixing it long enough. Try mixing it in one cup and transferring it to another cup and mix it for an additional two minutes. Okay, and sometimes you choose varnish for the finish. Yes. And sometimes you use resin. Right. Uh, resin gives you a, a, a higher quality. Glass-like finish. Yep. And we recommend stone, stone coat. coat. Yep. Stone coat, art coat resin is probably one of the best, and I'm going to show you why tonight. Um, we have quite a few paintings that we won't be selling because I used Envirotex on them and they yellowed terribly. So I'm gonna show you the difference between Stone Coat and Envirotex. Okay, and Sandy Coulter wants to know, what grade canvas do you use? I use every grade there is. All depends what I'm um, painting. Sometimes you don't want a gallery wrap Especially if you're doing something that you're yeah, if you're experiment. doing a, a testing, you know, testing a new technique or um, gallery wraps are really more if you really want to show your work. Of course, you charge a lot more for those paintings as well. Uh, let's see, a couple people said they seen a face in that pour that you just did. Monica said, big, bad wolf face. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> okay, and Kara Poole says she did similar one similar to this today, and she says, want to see? How do I show you? Um, you can send me a picture on Facebook. Uh, Lisa has got a question. Do you spray the backs of the level three to tighten like the others? I do, yep. And she says, I just bought some for the first time. Lisa, you're going to like the, the quality of a level three. Just more. remember to use a little more paint because you've got those deep sides to cover. So let's say if you're going to use 12 ounces of paint, you're going to want to use probably 14 or even 16. Brenda says she just bought Stone Coat. Can't wait to try, but she's scared. Don't be scared. Any hints that um, start them? out on a tile so you're comfortable with it. And then uh, once you've got that feel of it, when you don't have resin in your hair and you can reach your heat gun and you're not sweating profusely, <laughs> I can tell you all the things that I go through when I do resin work. Uh, Mama Jo wants to know, do you prime the shiny tiles? I clean them with alcohol. That's all we do. And Joshua that wants to know, I believe you meant, do you use small canvas and spray it? I think he's talking about prepping before painting it. Yeah, we spray it with water. Yep, just spray it with water and let it dry. And that'll tighten it. That'll, that'll cause it to tighten. Raphael says he found Home Depot floor samples that works for his coasters, and they even have rubber on the bottom. Best those were all, the those were they those are ones. Free. Yeah, those were the ones we were looking at. Those, and I said to Alan, "We'll never be able to get out of here with more than a half a dozen." <laughs> They're gonna say something. <laughs> okay, Shirley says I'm allergic to alcohol. What do I use to clean the tiles? Oh. It's got to be some type of degreaser if you're using silicone. Are you using silicone? Ellie says Windex. 
Um, you could use Windex. You could probably use just like a maybe a light vinegar and water. I'm not sure how the paint would react to the vinegar though. Uh, Joshua says you could use water instead of alcohol for painting. Uh, Nate says, how about Dawn dish soap? Yeah. Um, you gotta be careful though if you're doing tile. You don't want to get that paint on the tile of soaking wet because it will peel. You want to baby that. Suggestions to uh, Laura says Q tips. Um, Kendra says you can gesso them. Yeah, you can spray pr with primer too. Mary Fisher says acetone. John, peroxide, uh, John Proctor wants to know peroxide. I wouldn't do peroxide. Uh, Mel I says methylated spirits. Now you're getting into some. Chems. Pretty. Chemistry pretty, class. Pretty deep chemicals. Okay, Kay Stewart wants to know, what if you have already varnished the canvas, can you pour over it? Um, I've heard people say they'd have, but I have not. But I do resin over it after it's been varnished. Okay, let me grab those real quick since they're right here. Since they're right here. Al, could I have you lift this up real quick? Just so I can get a stone going out. Okay. So here is a stone coat resin painting. Nice and clear, just like the day you pour it. This is what happens when you use Envirotex. Can you see how yellow they are compared to this? Well, you guys can't see it like I can see it. It is so deep yellow here that I cannot sell these paintings. So I have eight of them that I can't sell. So they'll get hung up in the studio. Just so you know, Stone Coat is zero VOCs and it's UV protected. This is gonna look the same way three months from now than it does now. So there's my test and there's my proof. All right, Alan, here up, dude. Okay, people said they can see the difference. Yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can get better pictures with my Canon and actually post that on Facebook, on my page, and also on the Stone Coat Insiders page. So if anybody's doubting Stone Coat, there's your proof. And we got a couple people just, they're also saying what you said, that Stone Coat is awesome and Stone Coat is the best. Yep. Um, you can use Envirotex, yeah, on a dark painting, not a problem. But if you're doing something with white, absolutely not. I'm going to send a copy of those paintings to Envirotex also because they say nothing on the label that it causes yellowing. How long to let resin dry? Um, resin is normally ready in 16 hours that you can actually touch it. But I always mm. wait three days the 72 hours before I do anything else with them and a good 30 days for a full cure. But you can ship, um, I would say ship after four days, not a problem. Tracy, those yellowed paintings will be hanging in our garage on the walls. We have plenty of wall space now and it's kind of kind of bland, kind of white. It's boring. 
Thanks, Ellie. Ellie just posted the code for Stone Coat. <clears throat> You'll get $30 off an $80 order if you use code CWA, all in caps, at checkout. From the link below. And the link is also below the video. People are asking for gadget magic. Um, Terry, we talked about that with Mike, and I would wait at least a week before you put anything hot on it. I don't think so, Laura. As long as they're wrapped and packaged correctly, they should be okay. Uh, the back of the resin painting looks just like if you do artwork. It's the same. Uh, stone coat countertops, um, art coat resin. And I typically do two coats. I'm sorry, Ellen. Let me go back. The screen's moving too fast for me to keep up. Oh, I went way up and I don't see it. Ellen, we're not. We're uh, not doing it on purpose, honey. We just, the screen's rolling so fast that I'm, I'm missing questions. Lori, if you saw them up close, you would say something different. They're definitely different than the Stone Coat Clear. And they were done at the same time. I was using up some Envirotex before I started using the Stone Coat. Um, Tracy, I wait about 16 hours. And then I give it a light sand with 220 sandpaper. Um, brush it off, wipe it down with alcohol, and go ahead and do your second coat. Oh, her wording is being blocked. Okay, well, we're trying to solve the problem with the missing question. Um, uh, Sue, you should be able to paint that on top of a dried pour. Yeah, stone coat is 45 minutes to an hour work time. It's wonderful because it doesn't smell. So it, it's not going to bother you. Hard canvas if you know you're going to resin. Um, I have done some birch boards. Um, for the specific reason to see the difference with the resining, and yes, they are amazing. Um, Jerry's carries um, Da Vinci birch boards. Uh, get them when they're on sale, like the 12 by 12s, you'll be able to get them for like $3 and something a piece. So it's definitely worth um, trying a wood panel. Just remember, it's gonna buckle on you unless you seal it with polycrylic first. So I, I always, um, make sure I'm using one that's gessoed on top, but um, if you don't seal it, it will buckle, but as it dries, it will flatten itself back out. I don't have that one here, do I? Yep, I do. I'm going to show her that. And Alan's going to show you one, Alan. This, that's a birch board. You can flip it over and show them the back. So they resin beautiful. Trudy, we're in North Carolina. I have not tried that, Meg. There's a lot of things I want to try. It's just a time constraint for me right now. Okay. I need That's some gotcha. Go suggestions ahead. for colors. Oh, um, what are you doing? Gonna do a strainer you're, pour. Oh, you're doing the big monster. Yeah, we're gonna try. We gotta go big. You always gotta go big. Yes, Roxy, I get a percentage of sales, and it doesn't have to be just the stuff that's in my Amazon shop. You can buy anything on Amazon and use my um, link to get there. I don't want to use all your white. 
I got plenty of white. Okay. That white there is for painting. That white there is for base coat. Red, black, and gold. Purple and gold. Yeah, he's going big. Got to go big or go home. I agree, Jennifer. Okay, so I heard a purple. And he's barefooted tonight, so if you hear a little sticky feet, that's Alan. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> I want to go Lucas Permanent Violet. Since he's pouring through a strainer, he has to be extremely careful about colors that will muddy. So as he's pulling colors, I'm watching. <laughs> I need something that's going to complement <laughs> that. You can't sneak when they're sticky. Be very, very quiet. Lucas Lavender. Yeah, YouTube takes 30% um, to give, I guess, to Google um, from the donations that we get here on Super Chat. So I've been telling everybody just to hit the PayPal link below. It'll open up a different window where you can donate. We're going to go with Premier Purple Red. Because you got to have red if you don't have pink. I remember somebody saying black, so I need a black. Monica, I have not seen your video. Um, I actually wasn't on YouTube much at all today, except for finding the videos that went with the paintings. I'm not going to go with a black, but I'm going to go with Payne's Gray. So it was Payne's Gray. Oh, Laura, they don't take it all, hon. It's in my, I already see it in my um, generated revenue. And I agree, we need silver. We're gonna go with Soho Silver. Okay. I'm gonna put an outer outer band of white that is a 16 by 20 canvas i knew the minute i prepped it he would take it <laughs> you're, she thieving. Didn't, you're thieving my canvas that's all right she okay. didn't prep the uh 36 by 48 no because it won't fit in the tray silly well you're saving that for nate nate when he comes to nate's gonna have lots of stuff to play with Take a second, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. This is about how the speed that I paint my uh, ceilings. Oh my too. god! No, I think you're slower with the ceiling. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pour um, upside down. Mary Allen, if you go to my page and look under playlists, um, there's a tutorial section in there. Okay. We love doing lives. I wish we could do lives more often, but I like to make videos that are a little shorter for people to just skip on here and watch them real quick. Um, these are pre gessoed canvases. We just spray the backs to tighten them. This is a pretty big canvas. Uh, no, Mary Ellen, they're here on YouTube. Uh, Sherry, yeah, they're about even. It's one, 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 usually. If your craft paint's a little thicker, you might have to add just a little bit more flow trial, but I do not use water at all. And I do use um, one drop of silicone for every two ounces of paint.
I was thinking I want to put it in the cup first. Lucy, we're charged. We are charging up to that fifty thousand. That's what we want because we have so many prizes to give away. <laughs> we're really struggling. <laughs> Uh, Waniva, I love the countertop epoxy better than the art coat for the tiles, only because that's what it's made for. Um, but you can use the art resin and still get the same effects. It's just not, I don't think it's as durable. I don't think it gets quite as hard as the countertop epoxy, but they're both great for tiles. I've used both on the tiles and, um, I can't tell the difference, but maybe over time, the um, the hardness of the epoxies will show the difference. I'm not sure yet. Um, I have an Amazon shop link below the video where you can go buy all the supplies for acrylic pouring. Just one thing I want to show everybody on the strainer. This is the bottom side. So I'm going to be getting paint out from here, and as I fill it up, I'm also going to get some on the outer ring if I fill it fast enough. So I'm almost thinking I need to fill the cups. What do you think, hon? What do you want to do? I'm thinking fill the cups first to <coughs> put enough paint in there so I'm getting some... Are you dirty pouring? Or are no. You, no, one color at a time. Um, it's going to stick in your cup, though. You're going to use up too much paint that way. Just give it a good squirt. Just count to three, like squirt, count to three. You know, like that. Now, like those of you that have not, what? <laughs> the OCD, OCD thing? Yeah. This is one of the advantages I have is I have my my coach here that can answer some of my questions too. Unfortunately, a lot of you don't have that. Um, Tracy, I let them dry for a few hours before we paint on them. And if they're still a little damp, we spray them with a hair dryer or blow them with a hair dryer. Okay, so I started with the paints gray. Then I'm going with the Premier Purple Red. Cecilia, I'm not sure. I think so, though. I think we do that in UK now. I'm going to follow up with Lucas Lavender. Thank you, Nate. Hi, Eddie. Followed by Soho Silver. Eddie, Nate's here. <laughs> Good luck, <make it>, Nate. <laughs> yes, I am definitely going to try to get that video done tomorrow on the differences of silicones. Lastly, Lucas Permanent Violet. Oh, no, no. We don't mind. Has he been out? Yes, he has. Okay. I'm going to go again one more round of the Soho. Trudy, we have about six different kinds of acrylic paints we use. Um, mainly Creative Inspirations and Soho. That's Eddie, my name. He's whining. <laughs> Lucas Lavender again. Now I'm hitting the outer ring as a strainer, and I'm using a lot of paint. Uh, Soho Silver. Amber, if you spray the back of your canvas, it will tighten it up. You want your canvas to sound like a drum so it doesn't sag in the middle as much. And lastly, the Lucas Permanent Violet. Um, I have my paintings on my Etsy shop. That link is below. <laughs> when Eddie sneaks down to make a video, I'm going to lose it, Ellie says. <laughs> I'll coach him in that. <laughs> Not sure how I can do that with being sneaky, though. Um, I do put two coats of resin on. Very rarely do I get away with one on a painting. On tiles, you can usually get away with one. Now, you guys can't see what I can see. 
until I lift up the strainer. Right. So it's a surprise. It's going to be a surprise, all right. Surprise! <laughs> Isn't that what you said to me the other night? Surprise! <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Uh, Diane wants to know, what do you spray the back with? We spray it with, mist it with water. Lisa likes surprises. Well, thank you, Trudy. We try to have fun. This should be fun. It shouldn't be like a job or, like I mean, a job. I, I can tell you this uh, takes my mind off, uh, off you, the Sharon. day's headaches at work, so... That's one of the reasons I enjoy it. Thank you, Kathy. It's almost through. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And we shall see what we have. Now the here. silicone, Diane, is all in our paints already mixed in. Well, thank you, Kitty. Glad we're your favorite channel. For all of you that bought auction paintings, has anybody not received them yet? If you're here. Thank you, Deb. Yeah, Mel, I, I am on Instagram, but very rarely. I My day is just way too full of other activities to even try to market myself on Instagram. <laughs> okay, the tricky part is going to be lifting this so I don't get... I don't get the last of the... That's cool, Lisa. That really shocked me getting that email, but I'm I'm glad that you got it. I put my hand under there to catch any excess paint. I put the strainer off to the side. Um, Trudy, no, I don't really smell anything from the silicone. Um, if anything makes your paint smell, it's probably the uh, flow trawl. What do you think of that one? Now I'm going to stretch it out a little. Thank Hope you, Kitty. Hopefully I don't lose too much. Well, that is kind of cool. It looks like a medallion. Yeah, don't stretch it out too much. You got enough white on there to move it? Uh, I think so. Um, Winiva, I if I question how long it's been in the bottle, sometimes I'll add one more drop if it's been sitting a while. Okay, how many of you are going to help tilt with me? Thank you, Deb. They're all going to have their phones and tablets moving with you. Got to get my cuppy hand out. Sandra Lett is in the house. Welcome, Sandra. I don't know how long she's been here. I just noticed. <laughs> gentle, Al. Gentle. Yep. Yep. I'll try and take it back. It was moving a little fast there. Well, we're not going to do slow motion, are we? No. I mean, I usually. Wanna, you don't want to lose that middle. That middle is beautiful. I'm really thinking about doing a video on all the products that I use from my Amazon shop um, with pricing. So that way you can see it all in one video. So I may do that this week too. The middle is opening right up too as I stretch it. 
Oh, that's so pretty. Can you imagine the color combination? I don't know that. Ale Alexa, be quiet. <laughs> I have my little Echo here, and she always picks up on certain things. Try not to um, bounce too close to the camera because it's making it autofocus. Down below in the little gear box below the video, you can change your settings to um, auto or to HD 720 or HD 1080. And that will help take some of the fuzziness away. Thank you, Sandra. I think I need to put a little white around the edges just to... Um, what, you want it to go over the edge? I don't want to lose. You can take your finger and push the paint to the corner on the edge, on the edge and it will help the paint go over. Bye, Lucy. I'm just going to put a little more white just on the edge. We sure do, Sandra. Three That's days of Etsy work. <laughs> Good there. Copy hand, copy hand. Hey, Shelly. Just in time to watch Alan's pour. Gadget magic. He's the gadget man. He's going to make me want to try one of these tomorrow now. So I just want to know how many of you are saying, stop, stop. They're all, the, Miley's like, don't tell too much. <laughs> I think I bring it back to the middle, Alan. That's what Maybe I'm doing. just take a skewer and just pull some of those little edges out and make some little filigree lines. Um, Etsy is kind of like, um, I want to just say it's a craft uh, market where you can shop. And that link for my Etsy shop is below the video if you want to take a look at my paintings. Alan has three paintings in the Etsy shop, guys. What? You have three. Three. Three that have actually been finished. You've got about 12 behind me that need to be finished. I better get the work done after I finish the Can you the get ceiling. that more centered, hon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I still got to take it this way. got to get it centered yet. Oh, you're going to the other corner? Be mm. very carefully. Everybody's telling you to stop. Be very, very careful. All right, Elmer. I want to get it over here. Huh? I want to get it to that corner. Be careful. Oh, thank goodness, Shelly. We were out from six o'clock at night to midnight, and I thought it was like the worst six hours ever. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> Alan went to bed. <laughs> Between... but we, have, we have a halo, so at least we can plug a lamp in, but we, we're going to probably get a generator. <laughs> Between chasing garbage through the yard and yeah. listening it, to trees come down. This and... was worse than Florence. For us. For us, yes. Now, we're in northern North Carolina, so we aren't along the coast, so we weren't affected by Florence with as much uh, rain and flooding. Okay. No, no romantic candlelight. 
Well, we had candles burning, but like I said, Alan went to bed. <laughs> so my son and I sat and watched a couple of movies on his um, PSP. Yeah, I think you should try this gadget this week. Oh, Carol, the devastation down there is just, it makes me so sad. I pray for them every day. Sandra says, tilt it off center. Tilt it off center. You do what you want. It's your painting. I actually agree with Sandra. I'm usually one that likes. <laughs> Allie says you're already off center. Okay, Allie. I'm not the only one that's off center here. My son was saying now he knows how the old farmers felt when they didn't have electric years ago. That's why they went to bed early and got up early. Okay, let me give you a little close up. Bye, Mal. Careful. You, you yeah, sorry about that, guys. This autofocus camera. Got some crazy cell action in there. Um, he used four colors, well, five colors. Yes. On a white base. She said she would love the center even more towards the corner. More towards this corner or that corner? I don't want to lose the lavender that's showing up in here. Diane, if you did it through PayPal, I won't see it until um, we're done with the live because I'm on my laptop. How many now, more think? Well, where did we get that strainer? I want to say we got that at Harris Teeter. Yeah, one of the local grocery stores. We actually used that for spaghetti for a while. <laughs> we have two of them. <laughs> I can't wait to try the metal ones we use for spaghetti. No, you're not going to try those. <laughs> I just a little more tilt this way. Everybody's saying, no, don't tilt it. Okay, I'm leaving it alone. Off to the drying rack. You might have some skins down there you might want too, huh? Are you gonna wipe your edges off so you don't drip on the carpet? <sighs> picky, picky. <coughs> I'm not being picky. I just don't like cleaning up paint. And I don't like walking in it and you're barefooted. I like walking in paint. It's like walking in rain. Just leaves a distinct color on the bottom of your feet. Yeah. April says you're giving her anxiety. No more anxiety. Off to the drying rack. Um, don't put it in on the bottom though, because remember the other one dripped off. Yeah. Oh, he does have some pretty skins here. Let's grab a couple. Maybe I can get more out of there. We want to set me up four cups while you're over there. Four cups? Four cups, please. Coming up.
Like I need more tiles, right? <laughs> need to get those up on there too. Yeah, those are gonna get done um, this week. They are done with their baby powder bath and they will be going into the resin area. Uh, duh. Oh, he's speaking French. Je t'aime. Parlez-vous français? Un peu. Ali says, oui, oui. Yak Shamash? Oh, now we're going to go Polish? Yeah, we'll go Polish. Let's see what you know. <laughs> you only know the swear stuff because I yell at you in Polish. <laughs> okay, Kathy, Banzai Kathy wants to know, how much do you pay for the ceramic tiles? Uh, we got a case for $8.80 at Home Depot. That's 100 tiles in there. And that's wood tax. Is it wood tax? I don't know because I don't pay attention to that tax thing. I just buy. Okay. Nate, there's a question for you. Where's the list for the hat challenge from Liz? And Jennifer says, dibs on a set of tiles from this pour. Email me if you are interested so that I save them for you. I've been getting a lot of dibs lately. Bonsai Kathy says they're cheaper at lo than Lowe's. Lowe's was 11 bucks, Lowe's right? Was, yeah, about 11 cents a piece. Can you, um, uh oh, my cardboard, you can take those skins off that cardboard, they're dry. Cardboard. You can get me a new cardboard. Oh my goodness, we have tons of cardboard. I think this one's too big. Ha ha, as he picks up the three foot by four foot canvas. <laughs> How big of a cardboard do you need? Oh my goodness, just grab one. Hmm? Just grab one. One of these days it's going to be organized. One of these days, if you ever get done painting, I'm going to have to here and sneakily finish the ceiling. Sneakily? <laughs> There's a new word for you, Allie. Sneakily. See how cool they are? The biggest problem with finishing the ceiling is we, we have so many paintings there yeah, are drying racks we have um, six racks and a workbench. And then we have um, these big steel racks where all the canvas is at. Everything has to get moved. Jennifer says, look under the strainer. So when we start moving stuff, it's like you have to move it back to get to the next area. So it ends up being a two-day process to do one ceiling. Laura wants to know any tiles on Etsy? Not yet. Working on it. I am going to do um, the skin jewelry first while the tiles are curing. So I'm hoping to get to that Wednesday for the jewelry. It shouldn't take me more than one day to do that because I have a photo cube for jewelry. I'm, I'm used to photographing jewelry. Linda says she got her tiles at Home Depot for 16 cents American, and the 4x4 four four wood flooring samples are free. She says she loves this wood live pour, and she's making potato leek soup while watching her iPad. Oh, that sounds well, so yummy. I love leeks. <laughs> is that something that could be sent to the P.O. box? Maybe? No. <laughs> it would stink. Okay. I think I have enough skins. Kara says, tiles 
go into discontinued service and you can get tiles free. And also, you can go dumpster diving. She says she does. Well, here's the other thing. If you go into Home Depot on the contractor side, if they have a cart there with stuff, if you ask, usually that stuff is free. I saw a girl got a bunch of MDF for free. So I'm going to check that every time I go now because I've seen that cart there. I've just never asked. Uh, Jean Kane says, thanks so much for all your generous sharing. She says, could you show us the drying rack arrangement? Um, I'm going to do a studio tour as soon as Alan is done painting. And you guys will see everything, every square inch. As soon as I finish painting the ceiling. The ceiling. Sorry. What did I say? You said just painting. Oh, painting. We're, we're painting. Here. Painting the ceiling, yes. And Shelly says, hurry. I know. I expected him to be done this weekend. Because Mike, come. Mike from Stone Coat just casually mentioned on Marcy's Live. Um, last week that, oh, yeah, we're going to go out and see her, too. And I'm like, uh-oh. So that means the studio has to get finished. Along with a bunch of other things like my man cave. Yeah, your man cave can wait. I'm in no hurry for that. Yeah, but he's going to want to see the man cave. Well, you have all winter to work out there. I don't have all winter to get this done. Well, no, we have lives to do and studio upgrades to do. And mm-hmm. If you're aware of the problem, solve it. Take a day off from work. <laughs> Allie, no, it's not fun sneakily painting the ceiling. Because <laughs> I can't do that sneakily. Why? Because I'm sleeping then. I would love to get up in the morning and have it be all done by some little adorable little elves. Nate's got a good point. He says, if you're watching on a phone... Thumbs up, don't show up until after they leave the live chat. Oh, uh, didn't know that. Good point, Nate. Nate's a pretty smart feller. Thank you for cleaning up my mess. Yeah, you betcha. You want to take care of that, though? You are awesome, Sauce. So if I remember, Jennifer was calling dibs on a couple of these skins. If she wants to uh, get these skins, she needs to <coughs> send a self-addressed envelope. Yeah, self-addressed stamped envelope. And if you want, that's just for one ounce of skins. If you want more, you have to add another stamp for two ounces. So, Jennifer, the address is P.O. Box. I do share skins. Yes. Um, P.O. Box 863, Youngsville, North Carolina, 27596. And that is on other videos, but I didn't have it on this one. Okay. I'm going to work on this one. Well, then I have to get this done. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate your support of the channel. Okay, so I'm going to start doing a lot of these only because I have Christmas gifts to get done <laughs> for certain people and I thought I would do one every Monday for the month of well for the next month anyway so I get them done in time so this one's going to have a black base finally it says Telling Allie she wants to pour her dining room table and her husband said, leave it alone. I'll buy you a lot of canvases instead. <laughs> I have a table I want to get poured too. Marlene, maybe you should go even bigger and say you want to paint the car. Alan, that's just ridiculous. Well, <laughs> go big or go home. Alan, I want to paint your shed floor. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Resin. No, I'm not resining it. Mike, we need five gallon pails of resin. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I think I said thank you, but thank you again, Jennifer. Audrey's falling asleep. She says 
can't stay awake any longer. She said 3 a.m. there. Yeah. She must be in the U in uh, the uh, U either UK or, or Australia. No, 3 no. a.m. So she's in Europe. Carol Jensen says you can paint her van. I have a lot of um, end tables to do that I picked up. If you guys have a local roses, um, not Ross, roses, you can get them for like $9.99. I'll get it. So Alan and I went a little crazy when we were there. Bought a bunch. What did we get? Like eight? <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. Appreciate your support and being one of the moderators. She and we want to thank hard. all the moderators. Kendra works at Vanny off for us. So is Nate. Nate Allie. And, Allie. and Laura. Laura. I don't know whatever happened to Nicole. We don't see her anymore. Okay. So I want to do some brighter colors on here um, with probably some copper. Sure you don't want to use a clean strainer? <laughs> no, he's got two of those strainers, you guys, just letting you know that. <laughs> so you and Nate could do that as a challenge, Alan. We could. Okay, so I'm going to get myself a little three ounce cup here and I will spray it with the WD-40 silicone spray in the black can. I got a prep one over there already. What? So you got a smaller cup. I need a tiny cup. Tiny cup. Now we got Sharon Lee is joining us from Minnesota. Minnesota. Mom said she's going to get snow this weekend. And that's up near Buffalo. I want some gold and I want some copper. I think this is copper. I didn't mark it. Do you want to give them a little secret of what we're going to do with the... Oh, yeah. So we have these 12-foot ceilings out here. But when we had our, our friend Dan put the wood up, um, the eight foot board, you know, it's up off two feet off the floor to start with because it's all brick. But then you have your eight foot panel and then we had another foot that didn't reach the ceiling. So we have all these seams and instead of just caulking it and paint it, we decided to caulk it and we're going to put paintings all around the top of the ceiling. So we bought a case of 11 by 14s. We're gonna do and we're just going to pour. By 14 we're going to have we're going to have a pour marathon. We'll probably film it, but we won't be live. And we're just going to pour and pour and pour until we can get them done. <laughs> we figure how many do we need? Uh, uh four, 16, 16 and then we need by 6 14. 8 by 10s. <clears throat> so That's at, just for here. And then on the back wall we'll need some too. So um, we're going to do about 24 paintings consecutive. I think I'm going to use some cobalt blue. Why well, didn't I'm glad I didn't use gold in that last one because you'd be mad at me. Why? I used a lot of paint. Yeah, but I made tiles and skin, so you're okay. I'll let you slide. <laughs> I think it needs more blue. All right, just, that, just a tiny little swirl to mix those colors up a little bit. Pop it in the middle. Kitty says she'll come and help. Laura said she had snow in Kansas. Ugh. Doesn't it feel like it's too early for snow yet? You know, it's just October. Yes, Maria, that is going to be a lot of paint. We have those big jugs of creative inspirations and we have some bottles of paint that we're trying to use up. So this is going to be a good opportunity for us to use everything up. 
and we have big strainers and we have leaf blowers and no it's just going to be flip cups and dirty pours <sighs> sorry Pooh. i know how you like to get your hands in the gadgets nate says we're officially halfway there yay yes nate's got his gofundme to come out here next month I think he fit his, hit his 500 mark. He still has 500 to go. So if you guys would like to donate, um, Nate, you can click that little link in. And um, we are going to don't or have a giveaway of some of the works that we do while he's here for everybody that's donating. And I think he has the, this thing going that whoever donates the most will get a painting from him. Laura says, auction some paintings for Nate. Nate said he was going to do his own auction. We'll see. Uh, Kara's leaving us. She says her phone says charge. <laughs> Good night, Kara. Thank you for joining us. Tracy Smith says, who's Nate? Nate Cerami is a fellow artist from... Sierra Vista, Arizona. Also one of our moderators. Yep, one of my buddies. We uh, chit chat quite a bit. We love to bounce ideas off of each other. We both have different styles um, with our art, which will make a collaboration very interesting. Connie Buckwald wants to know why the holes in the bottom of the cup. She sees others do it, but she doesn't know why. It releases the suction. When you put this cup on top of the black paint, um, it kind of creates a suction. If you pop a hole, it will release some of that suction, and you can um, drag this over your canvas much easier. You don't want to scra um, scrape the canvas if you can help it. I'm very good at I'm a skeeter. the canvas, too. Um, you want to try to glide on top of that paint. And Shelly Anderson wants to know, what's the name of the blue again? Um, that is the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. Looks nothing like cobalt blue, but that's what they call it. I'm going to airbrush this out. Let me torch it real quick. Hi, right, Kara. Charge that phone. We'll be on for probably another hour or so. <laughs> You can always join us a little later. She can watch tomorrow. Rhonda says she loves those colors on black. I do. I love that cobalt blue on black. And I love um, purple as well. The, um, which one did I use? The prism violet last time. But I want to mix, I'm going to mix up some purple with that iridescent medium to get some new colors. So I'm just going to push some of these little ends out. Gary Schultz is joining us. He says he's late, but he's here. Thank you, Gary, for joining us. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Laura wants to know, would you sell the flower paintings if people are interested? Um, they're not very pretty, guys. I'm just letting you know. I could probably take a picture of them and post it on Facebook so you can really see the yellow. It kind of makes my stomach hurt when I look at them. I'm just glad they were just airbrushed flowers and not something that I fell in love with. So, As Ms. Art says, tells, it, tells them you can't pour until 11 p.m. Guys, hurry up. After yours, my kitchen island's all set up. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if I had to pour in the house. We have five people here. I have a nice big kitchen table, but it definitely wouldn't be a great place to pour. I started in the garage, and now it's the porage. Because every little bit of money I make, I put it back into the business, so... It's either buying supplies or buying some paint. 
Okay, Laura says she posted your tie-dye on her Facebook page. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Tracy Smith says, I know you like you do a lot of blues. Is that because it's easier to pour or blend? Um, I love working with blues. I'm not big on red. Alan is more the red guy than I am the red one. <laughs> Um, there's certain colors that I like to use that I'm comfortable with, but I do, um, test myself once in a while. I push my little buttons once in a while to try something new. Uh, there. Can't, or Laura wants to know, is humidity a factor too? Yes. Humidity will make your paintings dry much slower, which is a good thing, I think. The slower, the better. So that's my flip and drag for today. Now, if you look, can you see those little speckles in the black? There. That's Floetrol. Shelly loves it. It'll dry clear, though. Allie says you heard she heard that you might do some yellow and negative space. Yeah. Um, like hers. I told her I wanted to try that painting she did. Okay. Um, Kitty said, how is the drying time if it's cold? Uh, it takes a little bit longer, and you want to be careful. Here's the thing, guys. Winter's coming. Do not dry your paintings in your garage if it's under 40 degrees. Uh, Sharon Lee says she pours on her washer with protection. Well, we use protection all the time, right? Oh, the pads. <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? I didn't know where you were going with this. <laughs> Shanae is joining us. She's apologizing for... Shanae just late. missed that. <laughs> no, Shanae, the pouring space is not completed. The pourage is about 75. Tina says 80 I, I promise you guys that we will have it done by this weekend. And we will get that studio tour done. And uh, I'll post some pictures on Facebook that are up closer that you can see. And yeah. Oh, my goodness. I just walked right into that one, didn't I? Yes, Kathy. You, you should have seen the look I got. <laughs> Bewilderment and anger yeah. at the same time. Not anger. No. <laughs> Bewilderment, period. Okay. Like, what is he talking man. about? <laughs> uh, uh, Kathy's got a serious question. Have you ever used masking under a dirty pour? I haven't, but Nate has. Nate did that um, candle. If you guys aren't subscribed to Nate's channel, check it out. He's got some really cool stuff there. But he did a candle with sea turtles that he masked out the sea turtles. It's so cute. I uh, guess I shouldn't say cute because it's not really a word that you use for dudes, but. <laughs> it's cute, Nate. It's cute. Uh, Tracy Smith says, do you ever embellish with paint pens? Um, I haven't. I just got some oh oh hoo hoo markers that Nate told me to get. Um, as soon as I get caught up and get everything going for my Christmas sales, I'm definitely gonna play. Probably play when Nate's here for sure. I'm trying to get caught up before Nate comes so that we have lots of drying room because I know we're just gonna be um, kicking them out left and right. And I stocked up. I have um seven cases of canvas in various sizes plus my rack is full so i'm preparing for nate to come <laughs> beth benson says she's still waiting for the cup within a cup like Anne marie did and she's you want to try that one she's big, no i don't i haven't seen that one you can use the well actually you could use the um um spray can top and do like a paint bomb Uh, let's see, there was a question. Oh, where did you get that big pan? 
Oh, this Jeanette is wants to this know. is a washing machine tray that I have in my Amazon shop. These are what you normally would put on your washer in case it leaks. So I took the box that it came in and cut myself a piece of cardboard so that you have a flat surface because otherwise you're dealing with these bumps and you can't really get it level. So if you take a piece of cardboard from the box that it comes in, if it's in decent shape, if not, um, you probably could find a piece of cardboard at a, at a local appliance store or something. And then I just cover it with a plastic tablecloth so I don't get it all yuck. I know. Believe me, guys, that's definitely worth the investment. They're easy to level. And they're only they're only like fifteen dollars on my Amazon shop, so it's not a it's not a big deal. And it's free shipping, so it's it's a good deal. And it's it's nice area to work in. So like if you drip, you're gonna drip in the tray. If it spills over all over the place, it's still gonna be stuck in the tray. Shelly, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. Uh, there's a couple mentions of a hoo hoo. A hoo hoo markers. If I can get to them. Because, you know, Don's got me all trapped in here now. Where'd the uh, metallic ones go now? Oh, hoo hoo markers. Oh, hoo hoo. Well, Allie started out and said hoo hoo. Well, I put them on my Amazon shop too. But these are the markers. They're dual tip pens. So you get the brush end and you get the fine point. I have the metallic ones too. I just don't know where they're at right now. Ooh. Did I put the wrong key? I did. <laughs> it's been a long day. Nate or Allie. Allie's just. So Nate takes these and he colors on his resin tiles. And then he'll spray them again with um, engine enamel or DupliClear or whatever. But he says it still doesn't stick. So. Nate says they actually work on resin. Yep. And this is the one that has 60 colors. And I believe it was. I want to say $19.99, but I could be mistaken. It could be cheaper. But this is in my Amazon shop, and it has a nice container. It comes in to store them in, so it's worth it. Oh, hoo hoo. But take the link from below at the Amazon link and go in, and they should be right in the beginning. I haven't moved things around in a while. Read, read Allie's comment. What did Allie say? Nate started playing with his hoo hoo first, and then now Christina has her own hoo hoo. <laughs> Ellen, do you want to play with my hoo hoo? <laughs> oh my God, you guys are something else. I'm telling you, it's a good thing it's past nine o'clock. We're going to change this to a R rating. Go ahead. We'll do a uh, flip cup or something. Okay, Laura's got a question. When you spray the back with water, do the painting stay tighten and do they ever loosen? Um, actually, the water is to tighten the canvas, so they stay nice and tight. Painting just got <laughs> real. Yeah, Kat, those are the ones that he uses, yep, because he told me to buy those ones. And then you can get the metallic ones as well. We're using some different campuses, aren't we? Yeah, those creative are inspiration. creative inspiration canvases. Hi, Valerie. Loved your angry paintings, you and your husband. I did not start it. You did too. <laughs> I it's resemble later. that remark. <laughs> uh, Maria, you can. You can spray them and let them set. A cup within a cup. A cup within a cup. So the best way to do that is to use the spray can top. So what you're going to do is put your color on the outside and white in the middle and then put a white base down as well. No. I was trying to get a it's shot in the glass out. Bag. But, oh. You could do the infusion one if you want to do that. 
Men and their toys. Man, I remember this was a pain okay, cleaning. Need to clean? Ew, this was tough. I don't know what happened to our spray can top. I have to get another one. Kim Rohde's just checking in. Hey, Kim. So you'll do a dirty pour through that. You can layer the colors in the cup instead of squirting them into each other. You know, when you tip the cup sideways and layer the colors in. And then pour it through that. So this little gadget that he has on the table, put it on canvas, is a fruit infusion that goes inside of a Dollar Tree cup. It's what you would put your fruit in and then dip it down in your water. I think I want to go with a yellow base. Then I'll have to mix it for you. I don't want to hold everybody up for that. Ella, so, you got any extra yellow? I did a painting with that infusion. I did it. That I just put on that Etsy shop today. I did it once. One, two on a live. Yeah, I did. Why don't, why don't we have that painting? I'm sure we do. Is that the gold and purple and copper one? I think so. I love that painting. Okay. So, base. I'm going to go with a white base again, I think. That's fine. Um, Jeanette, if you want to preserve it for a long time, I would say resin or varnish. Uh, the spray varnish, you'd have to do about four coats to get a good coating on it. Cupception. I just love the waste paint, don't I? Yeah. It's okay, because the amount of paint that's in that little bit that you're dripping is about a spoonful, if that. I need, I need a bigger cuppy hand. Can borrow, we, borrow alleys. Can, can, we, can we shop around for those? Bigger cuppy hands? Yeah. You're hilarious. You two. I don't know what I would do if you two ever got together. Oh, my God. Can you imagine that? Allie, how far are you from Jonesboro? Oh, God, we're making a trip to Arkansas. Well, I have a half-sister there. I know. I know you do. That's what I said. They want to see the gadget sideways. Okay. When you have to wipe your hands. <laughs> Spread a little more paint. I'm mixing up some yellow. Well, you're mixing up some yellow. Yes, yeah, because I told Ellie to try that painting. I'm just trying to even out. She used the cake frosting tool. She has some extra claws here you could borrow. That's not me. I'm not hawking. No, it's the neighbors. I'd like to put a sign out front. Quiet, we're filming. <laughs> we're on the air. <laughs> tell, tell them about the other sign you got out there. What other sign? At the entrance. I don't have a sign at the entrance. 
going up the ramp. Oh. Wow, no solicitors? They're only allowed to knock on our door if they bring beer. That's right. <laughs> That's the entrance fee. So the reason I put a little more white on is I didn't have quite enough on the for my base paint. Little rock. Thank you, Deb. Hey, Marcy. Marcy's joining us. Marcy's stopping and say hi. Hello, Marcy. The pumpkin video is pretty cool. Marcy, are you in Raleigh? Okay, everyone wanted to see the fuser sideways, bottom. This is how I'm going to place it. Okay, now I need colors. Oh boy. I've done the purples on the last one, so I'm Do gonna- Do some like red, orange, yellow, bright stuff. They like the bright stuff. Yes, they do. So do I. Um, Deb, on the black base and the white bases, we do not put silicone in that paint. But in the ones that we paint with the black and white, we do put silicone in those. I am oh, ready. she's in Florida. Okay. Skeeter. Oh, I would hope so, Mars, you know. <laughs> I kept thinking to myself today, okay, she's not home. She's out of town. I'm sure she would have called if she was in town. Uh, I'm going to try not to get pinks with the Lucas Carmine and with white. I know to do that, I'm going to separate it with the black. But I need a couple more colors. Bright colors. What do you have there? Lucas Carmine Red, black and white. Tracy, you can use house paint. You can use house paint for anything if, as far as acrylic pouring goes. I think we're going to go with Grumbacher's Thalo Yellow Green. We'll be done by 11, Mars. I promise. <laughs> I don't know, Marcy. I'm, I'm the one that painting right slow, now. And I, I'm sitting here mixing uh, yellow paint. Trina wasn't here tonight, was she? No. Too bad. Soho, cadmium orange. You have lime green there? I got lime well, green. Be very careful when you layer that, honey. I think I want one more color. I think I need one more darker color. Shirley says gold. Yeah, let's go with the gold. Night, Shelly. So now I got to think of the order that I want these to come out. I definitely want black first. But I need something to separate. You're asking for mud with that. With copper? And you don't put the green next to the orange either. Deep teaching moment. Just for you. I just came over to grab the water. Because you're mixing some yellow, yellow base. Yes. Just to do a quick one for Okay. For so I'm going to go hey, Soho Emerald Green. 
I wish I had that time to do a craft fair. I really do. I just don't have time. I need a truck. Nicole, I do have Grumbacher's Thalo Yellow Green. I did put all my stuff on Etsy today, though. So I did get something accomplished. Well, not all of it. <laughs> Don't forget, guys, our sponsor giveaway is coming up November 1st. So everybody that's donating will be entered. And I've decided to do it um, in all fairness. So for every $2 that's donated, you get a chance. So if you're donating $20, bucks, you are going to get 10 chances. Okay. Starting off with the Lucas... Carmine Red. And we still have about 6,000 to go before we hit our 50,000. And these prizes that are sitting here are teasing me so badly, but I'm not going to make the video to show you the prizes where you'll get to pick which one you want to be entered for until we're at 48,000. Yeah, Laura, just send me an email, hon. Now the black is the Creative Inspirations black? Yes, slant black. Followed by the Creative Inspirations white, correct? Yes. Titanium white. Titanium white. White between your greens, Laura said. It's hard, Allie. Let me tell you, if I didn't have Alan here, to read comments. I don't know how, I don't know how Marcy does it. I really don't. Marcy, how do you do it? Are you still here? <laughs> she only goes for uh, live for about an hour. So if I, if we only did it for an hour, it wouldn't be as hard. Pure magic. <laughs> Magic in a bottle. You need something between those two. I don't think so. Because this is a you could do a sea mist pearl in between those two. That'll be like a white but with a hint of green. Yeah, because the first time we went live, we had, what, 45 people? It wasn't so bad. And then now when you get over 150, the screen moves so much faster. And then that's why I say if you're going to do questions, do them in caps. That way we kind of notice them. Because a lot of people like to talk between themselves, which I love that, too, that everybody's making friends. We'll have our own little community where we all watch each other's videos and I'm, I'm definitely 100% on supporting other artists. Um, I mention them on my channel all the time. Um, I I'm just love being inspired by other people, too. Yeah, she can't get her whole inspiration from me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Honey, you inspire me every day. I love how your feet stick to that. Do you want some baby powder? <laughs> um, Kitty, you already have a YouTube account, so you just upload a video. 
And then let us all know and we'll come and subscribe. Um, Amy, he is using um, an insert to a cup that we got at Dollar Tree where you would put the fruit in there to infuse your water. Yeah, somebody didn't do a very good job of cleaning this either. That would be you. Oh. Oops. <laughs> It's the insert of a Dollar Tree water cup um, that you would put fruit in. So it's an infusion cup. Sorry, guys. I'm not calling you, out Karen. my colors. Oh, Good you guys ice. are so sweet. Jelly, I bet you he didn't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tracy says she thinks you might be making mud. No, no, there's no mud. Mud is not allowed. Only when you use leaf you, blowers. You have the orange next to the green. That was your first mistake. But that's okay. No, 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 no. He's, he's not a tilter stretcher like I am, so he might be all right. I'm going to be fine, guys. Have faith. I'm, I'm the giggler, guys. <laughs> I'm always giggling. I'm always happy. Um, he's pouring through an infusion cup. I'm the serious one, by the way, guys. You're the serious one? Yeah. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Okay, so you have white down. You have plenty of paint on there. You can go ahead and probably stop pouring into that. You just need to stretch it out. I will. In just a moment. So for the next pour, guys, I'm going to do something that I told Allie I would do. Yeah, he's serious. Very serious. <laughs> I'm just letting that ooze out through the bottom. Ooze? Ooze. I don't think there is a bottom on that. I yes, there is. Is there? I thought there it was is a bottom. sides. No, there is a bottom too. Um, Kathy, only on things that were like pouring through or um, pouring over. That's the only time that we use a base coat. And it's just to help the paint glide so it doesn't fold over itself. A lot of times you'll see people, they don't put a base down. And when they do a pour and they start tilting, they're losing all that outer edge of color because it folds over on itself. So this way it doesn't do that. So we're just going to try to pour it off with the white. So the white's going to help it flow. Because you need flow. Good night, Sandy. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to buy one of them sand timers. <laughs> you must have your paint in the cup by the time the sand falls. Oh, now that middle is interesting. Is it muddy? It's got a little mud. I mean, look. Got some crazy cells. Oh, there. it does have some really cool cells in there. I oh, torch it before just you pop. Hit, it's the bubbles. Okay, for those that are here for the teaching, what did I not do on my last painting? Torch. Torch. You don't have to torch. I tell everybody, you don't have to torch your paintings.
now. How do I want to stretch this? Quickly. <laughs> oh, the things I go through. Hey, board, I'll write that down. We'll do that very soon. Light gray background, yellow bottom, bottom flowers. I'm going to do a yellow background on the next one just for Allie. Because Allie inspired you. <laughs> Valerie's like, stop. <laughs> okay, how many of you, again, are tilting your phones or your iPads or your monitors looking at it sideways and saying, no more. It's like your center turned into two. Like it has two eyes. Yes, that was the embryo. It was the embryo. <laughs> it just split. We got twins now. <laughs> Marcy said, if people who watch on TV must get a lot of exercise from turning the TV. Um, I use the torch to pop bubbles, and then if I don't see enough cell action, then I go back in with the torch just to heat up the paint to see if some of the silicone underneath will come up. But if you're not using silicone, you really don't need a torch. Okay, bring it back to the center. Sometimes when you get a muddy spot, it blends with the painting and it doesn't look that bad. Um, it's all in learning your colors. Alan has not sat down with me to do the color wheel yet. So I think once I go over that with him and kind of explain things a little more and he'll know, we just haven't had time. And I do want to do a video on that. I should just watch Nate's video. Yeah, well, you can do that too. He's just filling up the canvas, but he's going to bring it back. I have done a lot of record albums and turned them into clocks. My mother and my niece, there's quite a few people that have clocks that I made for them. Okay, so you're over on the edge, Ellen, on three, so you're going to have to take a little more now because it's not going to be Yeah, nice. I know. Okay. I got it. A little troll face in the middle. I have not done DVDs, no, or CDs. And I have about so, 60 birch boards to play with now that I want to get going on those. And, yeah. So you got a lot of things to get going on. Some furniture, like you mentioned earlier. and Cool beans, Nate. Can't wait. I've caught myself spooning out muddy spots and filling them in with black paint or white paint. You caught yourself? Yeah. Kind of like videotaping without knowledge. <laughs> so I that wasn't looks, the only one. That's... That looks really cool the way that separated there. It made two eyes. Still got a lot of paint on the edge, so. Well, you can pull it off with a skewer. I see a face. Okay, I'll give you a close up. I'm going to clean my edges. Do you want to try that comb? Pull it out on the edges? Yeah, I think so. Cuz I don't want to I don't want to lose the form. Okay. Do you remember how we did it on the other one? 
but I don't want. I don't want to. I just want to get the just excess the, just white. Just the black and the red pull. No, just take the black and the red and pull it out. Pull this out. Yeah, you can do squiggle lines, or you can do. Be creative, Alan. Creative inspirations. Yeah, he's not going to touch the middle. He's just no. pulling some of the white off. Always white before you go back in. I know. I got my towel right in my hand, too. I know. That's why I said it, because you did it twice. <laughs> Do you want me to airbrush it out for you? He has done the airbrush, Monica. <laughs> He's hitting the canvas. I can hear him. One more spot. Voila. Torch it one more time. Yeah, I want to see how this dries. Because you could have you could have dragged that black from the center all the way down through, but take it for now. You can always play with it when we Shut the camera off. Another masterpiece. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'm just going to do a quick one for Marcy. Or for, yeah, for Marcy. Sorry, Mars. For Allie, because I promised her I would do it real quick. It's going to be a yellow base with purples and blacks. Want some skins? No. Now there's mud. Yeah, that's mud. Oh, but you can see the pretty skins that are falling off in my hand right now. I bet. I'm hurrying. <laughs> Okay, simple little 12 by 12. You guys can blame me. It's Alan's fault. It's my fault. Ceiling's not done. Painting's taking too long. I need to get the whip out and start cracking it, huh? All right, yellow base. And I don't have any claws or anything to, to play with. Little hairy little critter arms. Lisa Welch says it looks like some sort of puffer fish, a pretty puffer fish. It'll oh. change as it shifts too. That's what I was going for, Lisa. A puffer, the puffer fish. fish. <laughs> nice save, Al. Kitty says she's got an extra whip. Kitty. Play nice. <laughs> I'll get my laser light out and you can chase it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're a clown. Okay. Get my cup. Get it sprayed. We're, we're, we're hurrying. I, I, I like to be done so Marcy can start hers. That's why I try to hurry. A <laughs> little bit of black. Nate says he's got an extra can of whip. I'm going to use gold instead of silver. Some dioxazine violet. See you later, Marcy. We'll catch you a little later on your leg. Thank you for joining us. Some light violet. Bye, Mars. See you in a few. Oh, my God, Laura. I have a cat of nine whip. <laughs> I want to know who's going to do the first 50 shades of gray painting. Um, there's already been shades of gray paintings on here. Has it? Yeah. How come I haven't seen any? Because you... Oh, that's right. You don't let me watch those. 
<laughs> that's not true. Okay. I've got a lot of purples and some gold and silver in here. I'm just going to do a flip cup. Monica says she's buffering. We're not buffering here, Monica. No, they are. Though. It all depends where you live, I think. Tracy says a cow prod. Oh, Marcy just went live. It's my fault. Okay, guys, quickie. Now you've got to remember, yellow is transparent, so that's all going to fall through. Carol says, look at all those cells. Monica's back. This yellow paint is fresh mix, so it's flowing really fast. Alan says, I knew you'd do it better. I didn't do it better. I just did it different. Yeah, like quit putting yourself down. See? I do too, Nate. So there you go, guys. The last painting for the night. Um, please head over and watch Marcy when you leave here. And um, check out the links below. Anybody that donated tonight, thank you very much. Uh, the PayPal link is below if you still want to donate after the video. And check out Nate's channel and Allie's channel and everybody's channels. <laughs> Monica said she just put a video. Yay. So um, if you have any questions, you can reach me through Facebook or email ChristinaWelchArt at Yahoo.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, mixed Media Girl Kitty. And Peapod wants to know, what did you mix with the paint for the cells? Uh, that is Floetrol and um, Elmer's Glue All. One part paint, one part glue all, two parts Floetrol, and one drop of silicone for every two ounces of paint. Okay, and don't forget about Stone Coat for all your... Yep, for the resin. resin um, everything's below in the description box. Uh, the Amazon link for your supplies the code for the stone coat resin, um, the Etsy shop, Redbubble, where you can buy prints and coffee cups and stuff with our prints on them. Um, our fan mail will be added after the video. And I think that's it in the PayPal link. Okay. For those of you that are staying up late tonight, don't forget to join Marcy at Mixed Media Girl. She's live now. Maria, you're very welcome. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, Bye. now.